What's up, hood folks? This Rashad. You got on your gray sweatpants today. I sure do. <laughs> this Jeremy, y'all. How y'all doing today? <sighs> Am I pushing that in the front? You pushing down the front and back. I'm not talking about my stomach. I'm talking about <laughs> never mind. Anyway, hood folks. So we doing a little something different this Sunday. This Sunday morning, we was on our way to the store to buy. We we're gonna make a breakfast pizza. Yes. For a cooking video. But before we got there, I was like, I want a sub sandwich from Subway. And my body was like, Jeremy, Subway, Subway, Subway. It's my party. I can cry if I want to. Your birthday is over with. It's still this weekend. Yes. Like, like when a holiday fall on a Friday, the damn weekend go all the way to that damn Monday. Until Sunday morning when you go to church. <laughs> Speaking of church, so we're trying out, what is this called? This is the, the Dre Potle steak. This how it looks, y'all, from Subway. How much did this sub go? After taxes or before? <laughs> Which after, is after taxes nine seventeen. Damn, this looks nothing like the picture. Now show up the picture. Well, I'll show y'all a little bit what the picture looked like. Now that's how it supposed to look. <laughs> it don't look like that. And this how it look right here. Now we did add extra sauces and stuff too, because you know we like our stuff real wet. Get your salmon, babe. This is not really a food version. This is a mukbang. Mukbang. You got some chips. Is they seasoned? This is a mukbang. I'm telling you, I don't know what Doritos been doing lately. Can y'all see that detail? They have been putting a lot of seasoning on these ranch chips and they nacho cheese. Because mm. they chips used to be just plain tortilla chips. But a little seasoning. Man, like somebody just bam. Right. Who used to do that Wolfgang Pup? Bam. <laughs> That's all. So it's raining here today. And for some reason I'm cool with it. No, a lot of people I see. Hmm. What? I'm sorry. A lot of people I see complain about it, but I don't see nothing wrong with it. Me neither. Rain is good for the earth. For the elf. Yeah, it's good for the earth. <laughs> so, this morning we was talking. Well, first of all, this sub is actually real good. A lot of good flavors, and the bread is good. It just should have put a little more meat on it. Not as much meat as Jersey Mike. Jersey Mike give you enough meat. <laughs> I put too much meat in your mouth. Uh, they give you enough meat to make three more sandwiches. Right. <laughs> but what we're talking about this morning is how I miss going to church. Now, I grew up in the church, going to church on Sunday, and Going to Sunday school, um, going to Bible study and stuff. But since I didn't got grown, 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 extra large, grown, right? What that mean, right? It just mean right. I don't like going to church no more. It just, it's not in my heart no more. Like I don't like going to church no more. I don't like church no more. I don't like religion. And when I say stuff like that to people, they automatically assume if you don't do church and religion, you don't do God. Church, religion, and God is just like college and career. Just cause you go to college don't mean you're gonna get a job in that career. Just cause you go to church don't mean you got a relationship with God. Some people go for the motion. Some people go for a feel. And some people just go just to go to show their new clothes and outfits and all this stuff. But I miss, I miss the fun times going to church, singing in the choir, I used to sing in the choir. And I used to direct the choir. <laughs> I bet you you did. I used to direct the choir, and I used to, you know, go to Bible study on Wednesday night. All this stuff was good. This was had to be year two thousand. I said two thousand to two thousand five. At that time, I was like what nineteen, all the way to twenty two, twenty three. I didn't like it then. Yeah. When I moved to Texas, when I moved to Texas, 
I still going to mega churches and stuff. It seemed like it just slowly just diminished. Like church, the feel of church just slowly diminished because it didn't seem real no more. I mean, you know, just see, I didn't get the same feel. And then this church I used to go to in, in uh, Dallas, I used to like it so much, but I hated the music. I don't like praise and worship gospel. I cannot stand praise and worship gospel. Mm hmm. Especially the gospel out today. It's too for me now. Because I was on a thread yesterday. And somebody was talking about. No, no, no. I want to throw it. I was watching a view, a video on YouTube from Ty Tribbett. And he was saying how the gospel industry is not even godly at all. And how they want, how it's still, a, it's still the music business. But he was speaking on how a lot of these labels want these gospel artists to do weird and strange and outrageous stuff to get their gospel music out. And he's not willing to do it. And then when I got in the comments, a lot of people was like, man, this gospel out today is not the same. It's not have the same feeling to it. It's trash. And I agree. Because I, if I do listen to gospel, I'm listening to stuff that came out in the 2000s, in the 90s. I'm not listening to nothing out today. All the music out there is just too, it just seems watered down and I'm not feeling it. But I do miss going to church though. I don't want to go to church. But I tell you that to my mama, she all man, oh, you gonna go to hell. I'm like, good, go somewhere. You gonna go to hell. You miss going to church or you still go to church? Um, when I moved from Texas, I mean, I was going to church. I was going to this small church, a very small church. Every Sunday, it's probably maybe like 20 to 30 of us in the building. And that's counting the little kids. And, um, I like I started to like the pastor a little bit, but then he said some things that really just I don't know made me just think about uh, the church altogether. Um, Cause I wanted to go to a smaller church. Cause like Jeremy was telling you, we went to a church in uh, far north Dallas, um, and I liked that church. I used to go every Sunday, every Sunday that I was off, which I was off almost every Sunday. Um, I used to go to that church. It was Doctor. Dr. McNeil was the uh, pastor. And, um, you know, he died right shortly after he preached his sermon at church that one um, gloomy evening. But, um, but yeah, I used to go to that church and I liked it because he, the, how he preached, he had a good style of preaching and he wasn't really preaching on the the last days and oh you better get right soon i mean of course every pastor wants you to you know switch over to god get baptized you know and everything but he wasn't pressuring you to do so he always would would ask and extend the church's hand to accept you into god's arms and you know to get saved but he never forced you to oh if you don't come up now you're gonna be regretted you're gonna suffer in the pits of hell and all that and that was just like i don't know that's 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 not how i see church should be you shouldn't force somebody to do things because if you force it on them then they do it and then they feel bad afterwards because they was forced to do something and they just feel like you know they they begin to turn their back on uh on church and be like why would i even go to church if i get harassed like this so that's what i think it's just that um i miss going to church with my old pastor uh but nowadays it's just like i'm i'm scared i'm not scared to go to church i just don't want to get you know get that spirit over me uh to the point where you know, they always preaching on the last days, which we've been in the last days for centuries. It seemed like centuries and centuries and centuries. Nobody knows when the last day is going to be. I mean, you get signs. You but we it? haven't we haven't even reached those signs yet. So. Mm -mm. And plus, people try to make God seem like he just 
you know, oh, you better believe in God, you're going to go to hell. Uh, if you choose to not believe in God, you're going to hell. Well, God ain't, God ain't like the church folks. Church folks force religion on you, which I don't do religion at all no more. Like, I don't identify as Christianity for real, for real. Uh, borderline Christianity. But I don't even do that no more. But God is an at will God. Like, you have the choice. God don't rape you. <laughs> he ain't taking you. He ain't forcing himself on you. You got the choice. I said before you, life and death. Choose life. It's your choice to choose. You can choose to believe in it or you choose not to believe in it. But with church folk, they make it seem like you got to believe in it or nothing else. Like, no. They ain't how I get down. But that's one topic we were talking about. I'm with my family. But yeah, I miss going to church. Do y'all still go to church? Or if you don't go to church no more, do you miss going to church? Excuse me. And if you don't go to church no more, why don't you stop going? But like I said, mine was personal reason. I wasn't feeling it no more. Too much religion, too much, too many rules, too much dumb talk, too much church lingo, too much going with the flow, too too much of all that. A whole lot of bullshit. And one thing I do want to add is when, I hate when somebody that's, well, I'm, I'm finna say this in two ways. I hate when somebody's in the church, like Kurt Franklin, uh, when the preacher sins or the preacher do wrong, people are like, oh my God, I'm so shocked that the preacher did wrong. Y'all, under that robe is still a real man. Under that robe is, still, robe is still a human being. So I don't see how people be so shocked. Like I wasn't shocked by Kurt Franklin. I didn't counsel him. I even saw a story. I even saw a story uh, last week on YouTube about this preacher, his wife, had hired had got with this black dude they were white though but had got with this black dude and they was into swingers and swapping you know all this kind of stuff and the black dude got with the, the white woman the first lady fooled the black dude up to kill her husband the preacher and people were like oh my god the preacher ought to be shaming himself he lived in sin well still like i said if you're a preacher your dick still get hard if you're a preacher your coochie still get wet you know what I'm saying? God created sex. People be acting like sex is some God to create. God got down there and got that stuff. Let me, let me put some skills down here and wait it up and harden it up some. You know? Well, you're talking about the wife, say, having a wife in situation. But I'm saying, if the couple agree to do stuff like that, I don't see no problem with it. If my, pre if my preacher told me when he get away from the church, him, his wife, do things, that ain't got nothing to do with me. The, the thing that tripped me out about preachers is, I hate when preachers preach, y'all need to get right with the Lord. Y'all gonna go to hell. Now, if you preaching them kind of sermons, then I can see why people will judge you. But if you preaching, God love you, we all mess up, we all fall short, then I can hear that. But anyway, my point I was making is, y'all need to stop putting so much, why you cut that bell on? You oh, see I'm me? sorry. Y'all need to stop so much, putting so much emphasis in these people so much love in these people so much trust in these people so much what you call it so much y'all life in these people so when they disappoint you you feel so hurt and so let down oh my preacher let me down my first lady let me down you put too much in them people people put more trust and more their feelings into humans than god himself and that's beef stew to me All beef right. stew mean bullshit This sub is good. Y'all should try it. Subway, I'm telling you, Subway have been stepping it up since they put Jared in jail. They've been stepping it <laughs> up. They've been what? Stepping it up stepping since it they up. put Jared in jail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, is. it has been a little bit better with the last two times we done had it. The last three times we done had it. I love black olive on my sub. Uh, you know I don't like olives. Oh, I, I had to pick all of them off. Y'all tell me this. Why do people... Get your food up already. Yeah, my son. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you must eat slow. Oh, this is a well, mukbang. Well, I'm mukbanging it out with that. <laughs> that. And you did break with nothing to drink? I thought you had the water. I sure forgot the water. I want me a high C or one. Yeah, you're probably going to get me one. Oh, God, my arm. Just right here. Why do people drive fast to park their car? Like, they'll be driving woom just to park. Like, why folks drive real fast just to park? Why do people drive real fast to get to the stop? Like they'll zoom right around you driving wide on just to come to a complete stop. Oh, when you're in a park, like when I be walking exercising and I had to walk out of my complex, y'all, I, I don't know. Folks be driving so, and they got some big ass speed breakers in my apartment complex, right? People drive so fast, boom, 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 they don't care about that. 
Um, they'll drive so fast and slam on brakes, go to speed bump, then stomp the gas hard. And signs in there telling them slow down, watch for pedestrians. It's like, why the hell do people drive fast just to park their car? Like, the parking spot gonna be gone if I park. If I don't park it fast, they're gonna they gonna take that parking spot and disappear. That's how you are though too. No, it's not because you know I you be cussing folks out like that. But anyway, nah, it's just I don't I don't understand. I really don't understand some of the reasonings for that. Um, because it, it it don't it don't make sense. Oh, excuse me. It don't make sense to me that they uh, that people do that. Um, and I see it on a regular basis when I'm driving to work, or say if I'm driving, if even if I'm driving anywhere, you know, I can see it. Like it just people just be flying. They'll fly past you um, if you're going too slow because it's a red light. They'll fly past you and then they'll go to the light and then all of a sudden you see them slamming on brakes. Oof. And I'm like, damn, you want to fuck up your car like that? Okay. And that's the that's to be the business I would go in. I see a lot of rally the stars. I hope y'all don't take this to hate. If you do, I don't care. I see a lot of old dumb ass rally the stars, especially black rally the stars, hair care line, eyeliner line, clothing line, all that dumb shit. Well, you I know, can understand. let me get no, my thought. I, I hate when you cut me no, off. No, because I know how you are. The hair care uh, line, I can understand because there's a lot of folks that uh, they try to help with their off. hair. I but go ahead, me. finish. I, I just wanted to say that because I know how you are. You're going to go on and on and no, on. No, I'm not going to go on and, and on. we're going to go past the whole damn thing and then I'm going to I was stop. just finna say, no, Mr. Ahead. Cut Me Off no, in the middle of my sentence, Rashad. <laughs> but I was just saying, all these different bullshit ass lines, hair care, eyeliner, or eyelashes. I mean, do your thing, for real, for real. Of all things, do your thing. And all things do it better for you. And then you start this business six months or a year later, go out of business. If I was into some money like that, I would invest into car shops. Shit, people get their oil chain, line ups, front end alignments, brake pad, brake shoe, radiator flush. That's the, I invested me some kind of stuff like that. I will invest into me some dollar store. And people might be on the TV laughing, ah, Jeremy, you got, you, you, you don't let that cheap shit you sell at the dollar store. Do How many times have you been to the dollar store that just been empty? No. No. People stay at the dollar store. Yep. People stay at the car shop getting their oil chain, getting the brake pads to put in their car. But everybody ain't online out in ugly ass outfits overpriced made in China. <laughs> ugly little costume jewelry with nine dollar for your frames that they were made in China for one dollar. You know what I'm saying? No hate to that though. If that's your thing, do your thing. I'm just saying it, general. I'ma add to that. Now, I'm finna shut up and let you add to that. Yeah, I'm gonna add to that. I just wanted to that. So but anyway, yeah, they open up these expensive ass lines and they know that the clothes ain't really worth that. They just trying to act like, oh, since I'm a star, uh, since I'm, uh, since, you know, I'm out there and I'm on the cover of Essence and all that, then um, my stuff should be worth more than, and it's not worth it. Uh, but like he was saying, Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree is a billion dollar company. They they are, I mean, I have not seen a Dollar Tree close down because they went bankrupt. Right. Because people always stay, like he said, in Dollar Tree. It's always something that you can get out of Dollar Tree that's a gem. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. What kind of gem? It's like a gem in a in a desert. You, you find one gem in a desert. It's always something <laughs> in there that you find that lasts you forever. Um, but other stuff you just go in there for, just little things here and there for your house or, or something that you need for a little party, uh, decoration or something like that. And so they never, I mean, you never see Dollar Tree empty. Right. So I can understand where you were coming from with them coming out. And then you know what else I would open if I was a, a star? Apartment complexes. Real estate. And why oh, yeah. did this motherfucker park right beside me? Look at that. Huh. Are you fucking serious? We were sitting him all in the parking lot by ourselves. It's a, a lot of parking space right here in front of Subway, and they're gonna park right beside. Let's look at them. Let's just look at them. We got the gun ready just in case they want to cut up, because we get a cup too. Jump stupid if you want a bitch. We'll clown tonight. Look at them. Look at them. Look at them. Look at them. I bet they ugly. I bet they ugly. I bet they got perched lips. I bet they breasts smell like garlic. I bet they skin look like old chicken fat, motherfucker. I don't have no respect for you parking next to me. You get roped. Let's keep the camera here on. Is they gonna get out? You got the piece over there, though? 
Because if they want that stupid, we just going to let it out. We don't turn the other cheek. Only time we turn the other cheek is getting another clip on that ass. Look at them. They ain't getting out yet. We're going to sit here and wait on them. We're going to wait on them. We're going to wait on them. Man, what is this person doing? We go I'm telling you, and that's another thing. Why do people park next to you when there's like a thousand parking spaces? We are not in school no more. You know what? They need to stop doing that in school because that's where it started. Single file line. Go park, sit next to Johnny. Go sit next to Katie. We don't want to be by Katie and Johnny. Katie has cooties and Johnny smells like dookie. <laughs> Why they getting out that car? Uh oh, it's a white dude. Uh oh, we need to go. He might, you know, white folks are great. They might got a machine gun. They ain't got no, no ammo for him. Uh, yeah, they got <laughs> <laughs> It's a little white dude. He was like about 20. Let's go, baby. Who the fuck? We'll see y'all. We'll do white. Uh, we'll do white little boy because they crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, turn that bag at. I'm straight up. I'm, I'm I'm so sick of people. I'm so sick of people. I'm so sick of people. I can say I can honestly say this with all my heart for even eat the rest of the curls up there. Uh uh, I don't want to. Now he want to get the camera off him. That's oh, that's an old, old white man. Old ugly ass white man. I know. Oh damn, George Jefferson, opposite head fucker. Can't stand folks. But anyway, hood folks. Like I was saying, yeah, I open up an apartment complex. Because a lot of people seem like they're moving into apartment complexes. Mm. Or, you know what else I do? Invest into a uh, suburb, like uh, a subdivision. He wanted to gentrify PBR. No. Mm. no! No, 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 I would sit there and I would, if I, if I was to take over a place and like tear down houses and build new ones, I would put those I'll try to get those same residents that were standing in those old houses and put them back in the new ones and raise their rent 200% nope I'll raise I, I'll take the rent up maybe uh 50 50 uh, dollars more than what they were paying massa massa that don't sound right no seriously 50 dollars more than what they were paying because mm -mm. you can make you can make it only thing you do need to do is just you know you got to think about uh, your long and your shorts what? <laughs> anyway, hood folks, we hope that you enjoy our little video on a Sunday morning. Oh, we need to take a thumbnail. What is that? Go get another salmon so we take a thumbnail. Fuck that Let's do a thumbnail. Hold on, let me see how we gonna do. It. I'm gonna put the sandwiches in there. Wait, you got it. You go. I'm gonna put this up. Your hand, uh, come down, Fraser. Well, let me zoom it out some more. Oh. Come down. Hold on. Yeah, you gonna. I'm gonna put this. Right I'm gonna put sandwiches right here. Thumbnail. Look, ready. I can't put the sandwich in your face. How I put it in your face? Come on, come on. You love to put that position on. <laughs> All right, let's go. Is it motion? Bark, come, <laughs> come on, man, be serious. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear we take a thumbnail without the food. <laughs> <laughs> That's so stupid. Shout out to all the people again who uh, cash up me money and uh, gave me super chat for my birthday. I really do appreciate that. Times are hard for everybody. I don't care if you got a lot of money. Times are hard for everybody. Everybody need their money to survive. So if y'all sent me money, I appreciate that for real, for real. Thank you. I'm gonna take that money and buy me some thongs. A throne? <laughs> I hate throne. What the hell? I'm going to do something constructive with it, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know you will. That's all I got, y'all. Yeah, hood folks. Wrap it up, baby. Like, comment, subscribe, and press that ugly-ass bell button to get notified whenever we put up new content on this page. And we'll see y'all next time for a vlogger. Look at it. Look at the drive fast. Drive fast to go nowhere. All right, hood folks. Peace. Peace. I like the rims though. Yeah, he he killing those rims. He looking hard too. It's paid for. <laughs> I'm talking the food. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I put on my seatbelt and everything. Let's go, babe. How are you driving? And cut that camera off. My glasses in. Now I can see again.